Visibility and Media we've invited to the studio. Mrs. Tenaima Dono, the acting head radio services of the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, as well as, of course, uh, the radio manager of uh, Power FM. Very good morning, Ms. Madono. Thank you so much for joining us on Good Morning Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. So we're wearing different heads today. I'm the one interviewing <laughs> you today. <laughs> oh, that's okay, too. That's oh, fantastic. Okay, so. Now, let's yeah. talk about the role of media in enhancing brand equity of a corporation. Yeah, um, media plays a very critical role, and uh, it is actually an important and powerful force in enhancing brand equity for companies, mm -hmm. but also market equity for companies. When you actually go out as a company and you're putting your brand on a variety of platforms, which could be radio, which could be TV, and now with um, the advent of social media mm -hmm. and the powerful force that it is, what you're doing is you're positioning yourself as a company to be able to, to have awareness of your brand, but also to create loyalty for your brand as well. Mm -hmm. But I suppose also media plays a critical role also just even in terms of um, increasing revenue inflows for companies because um, when you now put out your brand out there and uh, people now get to know about your brand then they will actually latch onto your brand mm -hmm. and then they come forward and consume mm -hmm. your uh, brand as uh, a result. Obviously turn into sales and profit. Absolutely but um, macroeconomically um, media plays a critical role in creating employment mm -hmm. and also just to enhance economic growth in that manner mm -hmm. so I think that's critical you know mm -hmm. in terms of the role of the media Fantastic. but also critically from a media perspective, I suppose the financial health of a lot of media houses mm -hmm. across the globe is actually enhanced by advertising. Mm -hmm. So whatever ad spend that you put on, on any so media so house. money wasted. Uh, absolutely, because uh -huh. media houses are actually commercial entities, and I think sometimes we forget that. We just think, yes, in fact, us as ZBC, we have a duty to inform, to educate, and to entertain. Mm -hmm. But we also operate commercially. We actually have operational costs that we incur. So it's critical that we, we then are able to get the ad spend that will enable us to meet the costs that we incur on a, on, on a daily basis. Fantastic. But also for us to be able to break even and to make profit as oh. a result. Fantastic. And now talking about uh, the corporation, what, what acts, what promotions, what campaigns do you have in place to obviously ensure that there is that enhancement of uh, brand visibility for corporates and so forth? What are the campaigns that you have so far? I suppose it's important to say, and uh, I suppose not many people would have known this, that um, ZBC is actually the biggest broadcasting entity in the country. And we have five platforms, one mm -hmm. of which where we are now, which is TV. Mm -hmm. And TV, if you just look at even our news hour, it actually has six million viewership. And I think that's critical. And also we have the monopoly at the moment because we don't have any other news channel and TV channel at the moment nationally. Mm -hmm. But also we have four radio stations. We have Radio Zimbabwe. Radio Zimbabwe has got the biggest national footprint countrywide. It actually has more than 25 transmitters, which makes it the biggest radio station. Mm -hmm. And also it is quite mass oriented. So you have companies like telecoms industry in the, the, and, and many other companies that would actually want to come and plug onto Radio Zimbabwe because of its mass appeal. Yeah. As you know, research actually has shown us that money has actually gone down to the bottom of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. And it's important then that companies are aware of this. And last one to re, re, companies like Radio Zimbabwe. Okay. But also critically for, for, for ZBC, what's important is that unlike any other media house, we actually broadcast from Blawayo. Mm -hmm. Like we actually have Montrose in Blawayo. We actually broadcast from on a daily basis across mm -hmm. all our five platforms. And I think that's critical as well. Radio Zimbabwe is not just Shona, but also it's Ndevele. Mm -hmm. And that then brings in the diversity that is required from an advertising perspective, just in terms of companies trying to reach out to as many and as, as big audiences and the messages, messages as, 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 it, as is possible. Mm -hmm. And also we've got Power FM, which is the biggest music radio station in the country, just by virtue of the number of transmitters that it has, but also the fact that it's an enduring brand, which is the former Radio 3, but now, obviously with Power FM and everything that we are trying to do to bring the brand to try and appeal to a variety of audiences. Mm. So it as, as, as the biggest music um, radio station, it has broader appeal from that perspective. And we're seeing that every day as companies come forward, but also as listeners also get in touch with us through our variety of social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's got a broader appeal from the perspective that our, our bullseye, which is our target market, would, would range from about 18 to about 45, 46, there okay. about. But, but that's primary target. We also have what we call secondary target and tertiary target. Then it appeals to about 60 years old and even going upwards. Mm -hmm. We also have SFM, which is our English talk radio station, which mm -hmm. is, I, I can yeah, see you smiling. Yeah, so year to year. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you smiling there. So SFM actually is the biggest. You know, mm -hmm. If you just look at our, our competition in the market at the moment, you actually realize that um, you know, most of the talk radio stations, if not all of them, apart from our own, are actually just um, 
local or urban radio mm. station. Talk, station uh, is, uh, SFM mm. is actually a national mm. radio station. And I think that's critical for us to know in you terms of reach the and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And um, I suppose it, it, that then appeals to the much more audio, o, 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 older audiences and mm. all that. And then the other one then is National FM, which yeah. is like the flavor of the moment. Mm. I mean, recently the minister launched the news bulletins in Blawayo and uh, the fact that we are really trying to make sure that all the languages that are in the constitution are actually being flighted on National FM. Mm -hmm. Just uh, on Saturday, we were in Mabuku, Tafara, where we were received very well through National FM. And we had so many people saying they actually listened to National FM because all the 16 languages so of the country actually spoken there. Absolutely. Uh -huh. But I think it's also critical that uh, we realize that we've got ZBC online, ZBC News online. We mm -hmm. also have the various social media platforms for all the five um, radio stations and the TV one mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, so that's what we're offering. We're offering a variety of things. We have a lot of live broadcasts mm -hmm. that we do across all our platforms. We also have a number of features. If it's a music station, we're also bringing in music features, you know, so that we attract listenership. When we attract listenership, then brands also come on board to advertise on it. Fantastic. And uh, lastly, I'm going to ask you, uh, Ms. Madondo, we've seen uh, ZBC through, obviously, diverse radio stations for B from National FM, Power FM, Radio Zimbabwe, SFM, taken an aggressive uh, you know, campaign to go to where the masses are. How can you be seeing more of this as the times progress or maybe, uh, you know, wh wh what's the take there? We have seen an increase in the number of listenership and followership for the stations, but also even for ZPC in the recent times. And mm. um, that's really down to how we've changed our programming to ensure that we are giving the clients what they want to hear and what they need to hear as well. Mm -hmm. You find that with National FM, for example, between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock, we've gone more into business talk, mm -hmm. you know, so that we are able to reach out to as many people as is possible in diverse languages and cultures and subcultures as much as is possible in the different languages that they understand, but trying to bring business and entertainment and, and, and education to people in a manner that they can actually consume. You do find that with Power FM as well, what we've tried to do as a mm. music radio station, we are trying to, to make sure that there's a lot of research and, and um, around the music that yeah. people like to consume. So you do find that, for example, we've actually infused it with um, specialized type of music where we have dance or shows. Mm. We also have old school shows. We yeah. also have business excellence, yeah. which is every Monday and Wednesday between 5.30 and, and, and 6 o'clock mm. and all that. So we've tried to do that. With Radio Zimbabwe, I'm sure you are aware of the a variety of uh, road shows that we've done yeah, and that we continue to do across the, across the board. Mm, so, fantastic. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, that's uh, Mrs. Tendai mm -hmm. Madonna, the acting head radio services mm -hmm. uh, at the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation coming through to just tell us some of the packages that they have for corporates and some of the work that they're doing uh, within the diverse stations all across uh, this great nation. Thank you so much for coming through to Good Morning Zimbabwe. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for us uh, to get and find out What's happening in the world of business in our business breakfast?